Another busy day here at City Hall with more important business to be dealt with, but some that will also have an impact on the campaign for mayor. Notably, the debate that's been going on for years about the Gardner Expressway East and the millions, hundreds of millions of dollars yet to be spent on reconstruction. I don't think a smart idea is to keep making the same mistake over and over again. If you've lost money on a bad investment, you don't keep throwing money at it. That's, that's ridiculous. The argument not to spend hundreds of millions of dollars rebuilding the Gardner Expressway East is one that Josh Matlow is betting on. Not just as a current councillor at another meeting, but one as a candidate for mayor. Do we waste more time and money putting that 2.4 kilometer east portion back up in the air? Or do we choose the faster and cheaper option to rebuild it on the ground? The current debate is about whether the numbers yet to be spent are up to date. Estimates are that $650 million has been allocated, but no contracts are signed, and construction on a new elevated expressway isn't expected to start until 2026. Opponents at City Hall say the roadway is needed and the city needs to build it again. This is one of the busiest sections of highway, if not the busiest, uh, in the city. It's worth $1 billion in GDP. Preliminary design work has been done, and so others in the running for mayor say don't stop now. The plan for the Cardiner is to keep the project going, not slowing it down in any way, shape, or manner. The mayor before us said that there's over $400 million already invested, and then the deputy mayor says $500 million of taxpayers' money spent. We have to move forward. We have to build. My plan to accelerate the Gardner rebuild by permitting 24-7 construction will get this project done faster. Brad Bradford says that as mayor, he could save the money in other ways and keep people moving. Anna Bailau has said she wants to upload responsibility for the Gardner and the DVP to the province, an effort that has been suggested in the past but rejected. Olivia Chow wants to bring it down and use the money saved for other major budget items, like added transit. We can find it from the Gardner uh, coming down as a boulevard. Efforts on this day at City Hall, however, fell short. Josh Matlow's attempt to pause any new contracts for the Gardner East failed. The items amended does not carry. The vote is 10 to 15. His colleagues on City Council voting it down.